it's the cross. I want you to understand that on this way to the cross, the Lord begins to shed you off the anger. As you are coming to the cross, you are not going there with anger. You are not going there with greed. You are not going there with covetousness. Bitterness is dropping all across the nations of the world. Everything that is in your life as a Christian that has hindered you from getting to the cross, from experiencing the power of God today in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare, I decree, I send for angels right now to begin to drop them off. I command in the name of Jesus, every foul spirit that has held you bound today in the name of Jesus. I declare your deliverance in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord is taking off the weight. The weight is off you. The weight of anger, bitterness, betrayers, the hurting. It is gone. Depression. It is gone. Male. Rekasinde. Vamrarush. Maliba. In the name of Jesus. I want you to know for some people, they take longer to get to the cross. But for some people, they move with the speed to the cross. Do you know why for some people it seems as if the journey is so long? It is because for some people, they carry the idols of their father's house like Rachel. You will never get to the cross and experience the power of God if you still have those idols like Rachel. And so for some people, they come with the idols. They're carrying the idols. I want to meet the Christ, but you see, I'm not going to let the bitterness go. I want to meet the Christ. I'm not going to let anger go. I will never forgive my father. I will never forgive my mother. I will never forgive that uncle. I will never forgive that auntie. Jesus, I love you. I'm coming to you, Christ. But you see, these things, I have to come with them. You see, I'm a proud person. In my family, we're proud people. You will not get to the cross. You cannot get to the cross. With all of that pride, no, you cannot get to the cross. In my family, we're angry people. We are angry. We're easily provoked. You you will not get to the cross with all of that. You will not manifest the glory of God because it is at the cross. Maleva zinde rika barush maka zinde re 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 re. It is at the cross. Maka reka zinde re 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 re. That to begin to manifest the power of God. I want you to understand that on this journey, there will be fastings. There will be praying. On this journey, like I told you, there may be days you'll be tired. Luke twenty three verse twenty six. But always look up. There's always a Simon of Cyrene on that way of the cross that will help you carry your cross. There's that intercessor that will help you, that will pray with you, and you will see God. God has put in everybody's life a Simon of Cyrene who will help you carry the cross. Then we continue to move. I want you to be discerning. The Bible says that he that fainted in the day of adversity, it means that your faith is small. So we're on this journey, we're going. We're halfway through this journey. Do not give up. We're going, we're going, we're going. Your faith is building. On this journey, you're building your faith. On this journey, you're picking the word. That was what Paul did. He met Jesus. He did not meet the Christ. He met Jesus. He didn't meet the Christ. And so he began. He gave his life to Christ. And then he began to eat the word. He began to eat the word. On this journey, you have the word. Your power is from the word, the word of God. You are eating it. You are listening to it. You are studying it. On this way, you do not give up. You are energized. You are energized. Even when the days are like you can no longer move like Jesus was tired, he was weak. There's Simon of Cyrene who will kick you up. And that is why you must not be isolated as a Christian. You cannot be a Christian who does not have a prayer partner. But be careful when choosing prayer partners. I had a witch as a prayer partner for five whole years. I'll tell you that story someday. I want you to understand in Galatians 2 verse 20. Now you have gotten when you have not gotten to the cross. When you get to the cross, congratulations. You've gotten to the cross. When you get to this cross, that is that time. When you look back and you be like, why did I like to party that much? Why? Do you know what happened to you when you got to the cross? You died. You die. You die on that cross. You die. The Bible says in Galatians 2 verse 20, he said, for I have been crucified with Christ. You die on the cross. You die to sin. Sin becomes an abomination to you. 
immorality, fornication, adultery, the things of the world, they are not enticing to you. Gossip, malice, anger, betrayal, all these things are no longer enticing to you. You have died. You die on the cross. Galatians 2 verse 20 say, I have been crucified with Christ and it's no longer I that live, but Christ liveth in me, that life which I now live in the flesh, I live in faith. The faith which is in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself up for me. I do not make void the grace for, of God, for if righteousness is through the law, then Christ died for nothing. You die on the cross. You die to sin. You die to everything that is not of God. You let the weight go. You come to the cross weak. You come to the cross naked. You come to the cross bruised. It is okay. It is okay. It is okay. You're going through a process. The Lord is shutting you off. He wants you to see that certain things are going to happen in your life and you're wondering, but God, where are you? He's right there. He's with you. You're going through a process. It is because he's taking you to that process so that you tomorrow, you will be able to encourage another brother who is coming on that way. And you tell them, my brother, when I was on this journey it wasn't easy but you know what it was peaceful on this journey it may not be easy but it is peaceful you have everything you need for life and godliness you are not stagnated when you're on this journey you are moving at a pace you are moving at a pace you are moving at a pace according to the perfect will of god when you're on this way of the cross you lack nothing i tell you God gives you everything you need. He supplies all of your needs according to his riches, his glory on this way of the cross. And when you die, the Bible says that Jesus died. You die. People don't understand the meaning of water baptism. It means I am dead with Christ. The life I now live, I live for Christ. When the devil was going to steal my life through a car accident, when I came out, I said, can a dead man die? I said to Satan, I said, I am dead already. The life I now live is not mine. Ketri Kuma said, I know where I died. He said, I can take you to the spot. Do you know where you died? Are you really dead in Christ? All across the nations of the world, open your mouth. Flesh give it back to flesh, but the spirit give it back to spirit. When you are on that journey, you will hear of men of God who are sleeping with their members. That is none of your business. You will hear false prophets. That is none of your business. You will hear a brother that ministers so mightily, but yet it is sin. It is not your business. The journey is past. Now, the journey is you and God. When you get their family members who do not want to be on that way with you, you leave them behind. When you are dead, when they begin to see the glory of God upon your life, they will come to Christ when they see you. The Bible says, Let your light so shine. Let your light so shine. When your light so shines, they will come to you. They will come. When you die on that cross, you resurrect the life you now live. You live in the shaky in the glory of God. God. That is where when you speak, demons flee. Do you want to die today? Open your mouth all across the nations of the world. Oh my God, I receive the grace to walk in this journey. I receive the grace. I receive the grace, oh Lord, to walk in this journey. I receive the grace, oh Lord. Oh Lord, help me on this journey. The journey to the cross. I will not fail. I will not be distracted. In the mighty name of Jesus. My name is in the the sickness in your body will not distract you from getting to the cross in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says, Male recabos in there, Vam Radush Marcas in there. If that same power that resurrected Jesus from the grave is at work in you, you cannot have that power if you have not died. You also have to die. That same power that resurrected Jesus from the grave is at work in me because I died just the way Jesus died. 
The things of the world are no longer enticing to me. What makes men, what motivates men do not motivate me. I have no ambition of my own. I live life according to the perfect will of God. Open your mouth and say, Lord, I receive grace today to live my life according to your perfect will. In the mighty name of Jesus, I receive the grace and the power, Lord, to get to the cross, to die. In the mighty name of Jesus, today, open your mouth and say, today I am dead to sin. I am dead to sin. In the name of Jesus, of Jesus. I am dead to sin. I am dead to sin. I am dead to unforgiveness. I am dead to unforgiveness. I am dead to bitterness. I am dead to everything that does not glorify God in the mighty name of Jesus. I am dead to everything that does not glorify God. Sin no longer has a hold on me in the name of Jesus. Jesus said, the prince of this world came. He found nothing on me. My labor was in there. Today, in the name of Jesus, I let go of the bitterness. I let go of the hurt. I let go of the anger. Ah, pride. I drop you on the way. You are not going with me. I drop off pride today. In the mighty name of Jesus, I drop off anger. I drop off bitterness. I drop off malice. I drop off jealousy. I drop off envy. I drop off rivalry. I